In this video, we're gonna break down a little bit how much Cat Williams, I don't know, it's, okay, it has to be Shannon Sharp because it's his interview, but Shannon Sharp made on the controversial Cat Williams interview. Now I'm gonna break down the interview itself because I've watched it once and I was laughing my ass off because honestly, I think that that is the new form of special. And I think in the future, interviewers and comics are going to collaborate and do this on YouTube because it's more lucrative to do it on YouTube uh, in the way that they did it. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the interview. Now, these are my opinions when it comes to the interview. I think that the interview was great. It's great sometimes, you know, when people are lying about you and making up shit, it's good to clean the air. Um, the only problem that I can see with the interview is I think Shannon Sharp is getting a lot of the blame. But then again, the thing which I think is so stupid about it is what? These are comedians, right? The whole thing is them making jokes about other people. So when Cat Williams reflected the mirror back to them, they became super butthurt and a lot of comics were crying. And I saw Ludacris, he made like a diss track or a response video. Listen, Luda Chris is just garbage of an artist. But anyway, jokes aside, Luda Chris, Cat Williams uh, responding to everybody. Uh, let's count out how much that Cat Williams, not Cat Williams, let's count out how much Shannon Sharp made on this interview. So if we were just to do some quick math, I'd have to say what per a thousand views on YouTube, you make close to $10. So per thousand views, $10. So how much views was, let's see. Uh, he got, let's just double check. Okay, so the interview is at 50 million views. Damn, that is a lot. 50 million views, okay. So as we speak, the interview is at 50 million views. So let's see here if we can 50 because it's 10 per every thousand views. So it's, it has to be four zeros which you add. So it's one, two, three, four. Wow. So just on that video, just on that video, they made close to 500,000 $500,000 just on that video and not adding the clips, which the, you know, the short clips, which they did. Maybe bro, we're maybe looking at a million that they made because the clips also made a lot. Let's see here how many now we're just counting the revenue from YouTube because YouTube they're running probably ads on it. And then I saw there was also like, was it DraftKings or something in the beginning? Uh, and then the cognac also as well. So, okay, close to, I would have to say 800 to 900. So we have a fellow YouTuber here, which also did a calculation. Let's see how much he got it up to. I, I have to say uh, close to a million, maybe if not more. And that's something which I also want to add in this video. YouTube is an advertising platform. So they put like ads on your videos. So if you want to start uh, with YouTube or you want to make money from YouTube, you have to find your niche. Uh, the reason why is because if you find your niche and let's say you're doing videos about specifically computers or it could be whatever, cars or whatever, then it's specific and then they can target the ads on your YouTube channel. So if you find your niche, then you can make a lot of money on YouTube. What do is take the average amount YouTube pays podcast creators like Shannon Sharp's Club Shay Shay channel yes. to calculate how much YouTube is going to pay him. The YouTube term for the amount that we receive is called RPM, the so revenue per thousand views. So. With that, we're gonna find out how much the RPM for that podcast channel on average would make. And based off my research, 
podcast channels normally make between nine and twelve dollars yes. per RPM. Just so we can kind of make it simple, we're just gonna use the average. This channel is gonna make ten dollars per thousand views. So every thousand views this video gets, it's gonna receive ten dollars. How we calculate that, we're gonna take the total number of views this video has gotten to this point. We're gonna take the total number of views from that video, and then we're going to divide it by 1,000. So we take that number of views, divide it by 1,000. Once we divide it by 1,000, we have this number. And then we're gonna take 40, that number 000. and multiply it by the $10 RPM yeah. that we established this channel makes. So once we multiply that amount. Yeah, and that's what I did there because, okay, 46, 47, what I can see the video is at is at 50. So if you take what 50 and then you just shift the comma there, 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 that's what, how many steps? That's four, right? It has to be four. So you move it one, two, three, four amount by Could 10 then we can get the total amount of money this video is making he made four hundred seventy thousand yes. dollars i i got it to five hundred thousand but okay just off that one podcast interview crazy right but wait there's more so if we dig a little deeper and look at his channel but wait there's more we're gonna see Big Corny. that he not only is making money from the interview that he yeah he got almost a similar amount on the short clips, but not really. So okay, I might be wrong. Maybe maybe it's not maybe it's not a million. He did with Cat Williams, but he also is making money from the clips that he took from the interview with Cat Williams and created separate videos. So you have to add those in there because it's really just one video, right? He did the one interview. And as you can see, mostly all of those videos are doing super well. So once we add up that amount using the system that I showed you, those videos alone comes up to a total of over $317,000. Okay, guys, That's I'm pretty 317,000. I'm pretty close. So... 700,000, 800,000, uh, yeah, 800. Just off the clips from the main interview, podcast interview with Kat. So if you add 317,000 with the amount the main video made, which is 470,000, that's going to give you a total, wait for it, of over 787,000. Brother, that is so much money. That is crazy. That is so much money, bruh. For one interview. Bruh, Shannon Sharp, because this this is a special. This this it was structured like a special. This, this interview is going to change the way comics view interviews in the future. I think there are a lot of comics which are going to start doing this. A lot. But the problem is, are they really that skilled? If you're looking like what at a... I, I, Kevin Hart is trash. He is trash. But if you are looking at a Dave Chappelle, Dave Chappelle could do this as well. I think he could. Like he sits down on a podcast and he just riffs on everybody. I think he could. It's him, Cat Williams. Theo Vaughn could do that as well. But Theo Vaughn is very nice. He doesn't really attack people. But those, those are the three comics right now which I think could just destroy. Lurks. I repeat, $787,000. Wow. Mind blowing, right? You just got to think like the average income for most people in America is like fifty dollars to $60,000, right? This video alone is about to cash out a $787,000 check 
just from YouTube. Mm. That's just from YouTube. That's not including any endorsements, sponsorships, oh, brand deals. That's crazy. Just like the brand deal, if you look on the top right hand corner, you will see Draft that Kings. DraftKings mm. logo. So seeing that DraftKings logo, I'm knowing that he has a brand deal with DraftKings. Yeah. So that's that's money right there on top of what he's about to make from YouTube, just from the ads that pops up on those videos. Now, I'm not sure what that other logo is. Bro, that's crazy. But anyway, that's where we're going to end the video. Uh, I'm going to react to the controversial interview. I'm going to sit down and get the time to do that. It's just I've, I've had so much to do. But if you guys want to start YouTube in 2024, now is the it's a great time to start. Um, you have to think about your niche uh, because YouTube, as I said before, is a YouTube is an advertising platform. So advertisers want to advertise in front of your videos. So if you find a good niche where you get a lot of views and uh, this niche has to be has to be a powerful niche. Uh, a good example of a powerful niche is like maybe cars, electronics, uh, finance. Those are very high paying niches. Uh, then you have, you know, if you're just a YouTuber, which does a bunch of reactions where you sit down and laugh at, I don't know, like cats falling or something that does not pay as much because it's not, they don't view the, the people which are watching uh, the videos as important as people which want to buy a house or want to buy a car that's why these finance channels these uh what is it called these uh self-help gurus and they they make a lot they make a lot of money but anyway guys uh that's my opinion when it comes to this my math wasn't off i over calculated a little bit but i'm close to a milli because with the sponsorship and everything he made one million about but that's crazy so if you want to start YouTube, guys, now is the right time to start. Remember, it's never a good time to pull the trigger, but you have to pull it. You have to go because we're all going to die one day and you don't want to wake up one day. And uh, yeah, you're regretting your whole life. But anyway, guys, like, comment and share if you want to see more videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.